Hello, now it's time to sew my pumpkins for this year. Last year we grew a pumpkin plant in the front garden and it grew very well. It took over the whole of the front garden. It was a brilliant grower, um, but it didn't pollinate at all because we didn't really have any bees in the front garden. This year they're going in the back garden uh, as part of the three sisters bed which is where you have pumpkins or squashes covering the ground and um, runner beans growing up sweet corn um, it's an old Victorian farming method and um, so we're doing that and we're going to have uh, bee attracting flowers like asters and poppies in there as well um, yes so this time they should be well pollinated and um, as I say it's a jack-o'-lantern variety so fairly small-ish but uh, still quite big pumpkins so I've got some fairly moist soil there which is quite important for pumpkins I'll discard that seed because it doesn't look very good um, I have to say these seeds are not fresh this year I must admit and I'm planting them sowing them like that um, because the roots will come out of that end the flattish end and the, um, the, the that side of the seed will become the first um, leaf and the other side will be the other leaf and so it will kind of open up like that and I'm sewing them on their sides like that um, to give both sides of the seed equal opportunity to get um, water and also just because it's what the back of the seed packet tells me to do probably be a little bit deeper than that they will then go into the small plastic mini grow house um, or mini greenhouse outside um, to harden off that's when they're fairly big um, and then they will eventually go into the ground and it will be probably the most fertile ground in the whole garden because it's had a lot of stuff dug into it already um, and it's currently growing potatoes and after the potatoes have come out it will have a lot more organic matter dug into it because pumpkins, squashes cucumbers and the like are the most um, hungry of all the plants apparently of all the vegetables they're the ones that need the most fertile soil so there we are thanks for watching the uh, garden report tumblr is in the description box down below and i'll be back with another video tomorrow goodbye